Hi everyone, welcome to Handicrafts A to Z channel and in this lesson I was supposed to do the video of warping the big professional industrial looms for carpet weaving but due to COVID we are no longer allowed to enter any training resources and even the working equipment is not accessible due to restrictions Obviously, people are working in the carpet industry, they have problems with lungs, so they're more protected. So I ha I've decided to use the materials that I filmed during the training courses that I took about five years ago. And I'm really sorry for the video quality, but that's all I have right now. So probably you'll find it useful. If you are already working with the vertical looms, there will be no absolutely knew about that except when I do the heddles but so far the warping yes the first lesson it will be the warping and shall we start so the first thing that you do is attach the warp to the road that will have the all the warping done it's about one and a half centimeter wide so you pull it from up to the back and then from back to the front you may form the loop and then from that side you just go from the warp up and down just wrapping the the warp around the loom and around the road at the same time as you can do that when you do pull the rope the the warp from the bottom the left side of it goes above the road the right side goes behind but when you go from the from the front to the back you do it backwards as you can see left to the li uh, left le left to the front right to the back when you go from the front the uh, left goes to the back and when it goes around the road, it goes to above. I know the explanation is a bit difficult and confusing, but I've, you've got another five minutes to watch it. You can slow down the video to catch, the, catch up the process. And as you can see, this back. just make sure when you do the warping that the threads do not cross. And this, uh, the process goes on like this for about not another five minutes so we get about five centimeters of warping done and then we'll shift back shift to the tension as you can see there are at least two three people working on the loom the one is more experienced person there's always even if in the professional carpet shops you get people more experienced that do the warping and the other others that are he helpers assistants so they're getting more and more experienced and one day they'll get they all allowed to do the warping themselves and tension so as you can see the process goes like this and after about a couple of centimeters warped you can release the rod and it will hang itself just make sure when you do the warping that the line the threads are not crossed that will be fixed a bit later when we do the warping and do the, do the tension and straightening out. So for the small looms, you need three people. For bigger looms with professional frames, like two or three meters high, there'll be at least five. And I've seen the loom that was about required about seven people to make the warping. So as you can see, the road itself is more or less secured and soon it will be ready to release so will be no nobody to help that's actually my hand <laughs> holding the road and now we started pulling the tension so as one experienced one pulls the thread the others 
uh, from the back helping to make sure that the threads are not crossed so one by one the thread is pulled to the desired tension it's not actually that you have to pull it really tight uh, uh, really tight because anyway the frame will be ad advanced later just that the, all the threads should be about the, about the same tension so this should be all lined up that's actually already the tension and the density straightening out as you can see you have to hold it really tight so it doesn't slide and at the same time we secure it at the top and at the bottom and again that's that's why you don't do too many threads at the same time so you just generally, generally make 20 to 20 pairs and so it's easier for you to pull to make to set the tension as otherwise you can imagine having a one meter of warping done all by one by one so by the end of the of the season <laughs> of the season you end up with a skein of warp in your hands so as you can see we already have the division to front and back well, for the small frames we use this metal rod for bigger looms you might use the wide these wooden sticks which are about half an inch from one and a half centimeter to two centimeters depends on the carpet on the density itself so it's all all just a matter of experience so the students get get the less tension the more experienced professional get higher tension and higher density for for example this loom was doing the 60 knots per 10 centimeters per, for, per, per about four inches and there are up to 90 knots so the other frames will look the were warped for about 50 knots I've, d I've asked myself because I brought my own warp and I, since I took the carpet to myself I wanted to make it more high, the higher density and more more pictures to fit into the frame and as you can see there's about one centimeter done And as you can see, she, she secured the thread, the teacher, she secured the thread so, so she can release her hand and work on others. As you can see, she's pulling all the threads back. She's not actually doing the tension at the moment, she's just releasing them, releasing the threads so she doesn't end up with a mess with a spaghetti or bird nest. So I'll get this extra long th threads out. Because right now they all loosen. And as you can see, she's got most of the unneeded th thread. So you can see there's about two meters of extra yarn already and you can imagine that we could get another three three or four loops around the loom with this extra thread that was released d while doing the tension so this is generally it we just continued like that that till we get all the frame done and in my case that was about four, 40 centimeters so that was it so you can enjoy another couple of minutes of doing the tensions and i hope you enjoy this video thanks bye